welcome everybody to the semi-final rounds of the Dual Monsters League Tournament. Here we have Pharaoh Atem vs. Yugi Moto, a recreation of the epic ceremonial battle at the end of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. However, before we go into the deck profile, I want to bring up that Sand Fortress is in fact in Yugi Moto's deck. I mistakenly left a card in the side deck that did not belong there when I first did the deck profile, and that's why Sand Fortress was left out even though it was used in that very same duel. With that out of the way, let's go over the decks once again. We have the three Magnet Warriors and Valkyrion the Magnet Warrior, their combination form, as well as the counterparts, the Electromagnetic Warriors and the Electro Magnet Warrior, Berserkion. Berserkion can banish Magnet Warriors, including Delta, in order to destroy a card on the field, and this is not a once per turn effect. And if Berserkion were to be destroyed, he can revive the three banished pieces that summoned him. Then we have Valkyrion, who can tribute itself in order to bring out the vanilla Magnet Warriors. And in addition to this, his attack and defense are much higher than that of Berserkion's. The Magna Warriors can fuse in order to create the Magnum Superconductive Battle Bots. This monster not only has 4,000 across the board, but it can negate any card effect during either player's turn and destroy said card, making it possibly the most formidable card in the entire tournament. Then, of course, we have the Dragons of Destruction, Gandora, Gandora X, and Giga Rays. Gandora can nuke the field. He destroys everything except for himself, and he gains 300 attack for every card that he managed to destroy at the cost of half of your life points. This is not a once per turn effect, however, at the end of your turn, Gandora will go to the graveyard, and he cannot be special summoned. Gandora X from the Dark Side of Dimension movie can write Geki your opponent and copy the attack of the strongest monster that he managed to kill, in addition to inflicting damage to your opponent by that same amount. However, you do have to pay half of your life points during every one of your end phases as long as he's face up on the field. Then, as a promo card, we have Giga Rays the Dragon of Destruction. Giga Rays can come out simply by getting rid of two monsters from your hand and or your field. His attack is 300 times the number of banished cards for both players. And depending on how many versions of Gandora are in your graveyard, he has a different nuke effect. The first effect being destroy all other cards, just like the original Gandora. The second effect being banish all other cards. And the third effect being able to banish everything in the graveyard as well. Then of course we have the silent level of monsters, the magicians and the swordsmen. With the level zeros, they both gain more power the longer they stay on the field. Swordsman getting 500 points every time your turn comes around, and Magician gaining 500 points for every single card that your opponent draws, making it even more powerful than the original printed archetype of the Magicians. The rest of the Magicians are here in the side deck, meaning that they will be used as a secondary deck in the event that you loses a duel, or simply decides to switch things up a bit. Now, moving on to the attempt. So Atem has a lot of things in his deck that are centered around his ace monster, the Dark Magician. He has different forms of Dark Magician, such as the Dark Magician of Chaos with the anime effect. Then he has newer support type cards like the Dark Magician of Illusion, the Rod, and the Rogue in order to help get the spells and traps that clog his deck supporting this singular monster or helping you summon him faster such as Palladium Oracle Mahad. You have many many powerful spell cards some of which Yugi has like Monster Reborn and Pot of Greed and other of which are more devastating like the Brain Control and Magical Hats which can in addition to provide you from some protection can very very massively thin your deck within a single play. As far as the extra deck, we have the three different Tamayas fusions that Atem possesses. We have Dark Paladin, and we have Arcana Knight Joker. With that being said, we also have in the side deck Royal Straight Slasher for the three Poker Knights that he runs in the deck. There's not much else to say here, so without further ado, let's get on to the duel. <laughs> 